Hi, this is uh, Henry. Today we'll talk about coordinate geometry. And so let's look at uh, what is involved in coordinate geometry. Okay. And so we say a line. A line is the joining of two or more coordinates. Suppose A is 2, 3. Okay. B is 3 comma negative of 1 and so we want to make a line by joining these two coordinates remember we're talking about the linear equation so if these are coordinates the moment we join them we are forming what is known as a line it's supposed to be a straight line okay and so remember let's recall the linear the general equation of a line y is equal to mx plus c equally you can use the one that does not have a constant like that a straightforward one remember for the line we must have m which represents the gradient m represents the gradient and so you have the first coordinate represents the x the second one, the y. The x, the second one, the y. And so we'll be giving them numbers like x2, x2, y2. These will be 1. Okay? And so we can use any of these. But first of all, we need to get the gradient. And so gradient formula is equal to the change in y over the change in x. Sometimes you hear people referring to the delta y over the d delta delta x. When you go to calculus, we'll be talking about the derivative of y with respect to x. It will also be giving us the, the gradient of any line. And so, here are the, the two coordinates, a, b. So we have the y2, y1, x2, x1. We'll just substitute. Okay, so we'll do this. Y2, we are taking away Y1. Okay, dividing by X2, we are taking away the X1. Remember, negative of a negative, the sign changes to plus, so it will be 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. Small number, take away big number, you have a negative. Then 3, take away 2, you have 1. Therefore, your M is negative of 4. Now that we have the M, we have X, we have X, Y, we have M. We can therefore get the equation of a line. Using either this one or this one. Okay? So, we have M as a negative 4. Using any of the coordinates, either this A or B, we are joining these two. So, a, either this or this can help us get the equation of the line. So, let's try. We'll try on both sides. Okay. And so, Y being 3, using this coordinate m being a negative of 4, x being 2, we can get our c. And therefore we say 3 is equal to a negative of 8 plus c. Collection of like terms, our c will therefore equal to 11. Now that we know the c, we have m. We can connect to make the equation of a line. Y is equal to negative 4, okay, X plus 11. That will be the linear equation. Let's try using this one. Connecting to maybe this one. Okay, this coordinate B. Therefore, we'll say Y, take away, take away 1. Because here we already have a negative and a negative here. 
a negative of 4 as our m. x, take away, there is a 3 here. Therefore, a negative of a negative will give us a plus. We we'll have a negative of 4 added to, to 12. Then. Okay? Let's write nicely here. 12. And this x, this is x. Okay, let's, let's include this one. x plus 12. And so the 1 will cross the equal sign. Therefore, we'll have a negative of 4 x plus a 12. Once the 1 crosses the equal sign, it's going to give us a negative. Therefore, y will equal to a negative of 4 x plus 12 take away 1. It's going to be 11. So look at these two. They are giving us the same. They are one and the same. Okay? We take a look at another one. Okay, you can use this one, you can use this one, the M, M connecting two lines. So this shows that when you connect two or more points, you come up with a line. Okay? You can be given a gradient. And then the secret is a line that slants to the right like that forms a positive M gradient. The M is positive. A vertical line has got zero gradient. Equally, a horizontal line has got equal, uh, zero gradient. Gradient is a slope. There is no slope here. There is no slope there. Here there is a slope, but it's slanting to the right. How about a negative? Slanting to the left, your M will be a negative. And so looking at the line, you can tell the kind of gradient, whether it's positive or not. For a vertical, there is no gradient. Horizontal, there is no gradient. Okay? And so we continue. Find the gradient of the following. Perhaps they can give you the gradient. They say if uh, coordinates, probably coordinate A, is connected to a gradient of a negative one. 